Oh, well, hello there. Ah, hi, you guys. What's up? Welcome to Souls Action today. What are you doing? No, you got a drill hall. It's so imperative. Go ahead. No, I'm just curious. All right, cool. You guys, today we're talking about Black & Decker. Black & Decker is kind of a crazy company. They sort of invented the drill. I believe they did invent the drill. Um, you know, and they had really good stuff, but they've always kind of been in that homeowner brand. You know, when oh, they yeah. first came out, they were, you know, pro, and then they kind of just went into like a homeowner kind of area. Um, you know, and for a while, their stuff was all right. You know, I mean, obviously any stuff within the, like the 90s was like NICAD technology, mm -hmm. and you know, it was more of a gimmicky kind of throwaway item, but Black & Decker actually had some good items. But uh, now that we're going into this lithium stage of things, you know, they're kicking it up. They're kicking it up for the homeowner. Um, I know we went over an IntelliSense drill not too long back, and that was one of the coolest drills I've yeah, ever had for the cool, homeowner. Yeah. I think we gave it to your dad. Yeah, we did. Basically, it had an electronic clutch on it. What I like about them, you guys, is they have a really ergonomic grip. I mean, this is a really nice grip right here on this. The tool is light. It's very well balanced. Um, another thing about these tools in particular right here is they have low RPM, so they're not going to twist off a homeowner's arm. You know, even a grandma could probably use them or a grandpa could use them. Um, 650 RPM on this Bluetooth model here, and what's on yours? What? Speed. Oh, I think it's zero to three, it's, I don't even know. Zero to 360 and zero to 1400. So, so it is two speed. We basically have the two drills here, you guys. They're relatively the same with some different features. This one actually has a, uh, Two speed. Two speed. Right? And what else does this have? Uh, it has a chuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, the difference being is, you know, like that, again, they still have single a ten, speed, this is two speed. Ten step clutch. Yeah. Um, Did you talk about the battery on that one? Yeah, the battery on this one, you guys, this is the, the smart tech version. Basically, they've come out with this smart tech, and what it is, it's basically an app that connects to your tool. It's going to tell you things like location. It'll flash the pack. It will tell you things like how much battery time is left, mm -hmm. not only via a gauge, but how many, uh, like it said, that five hours, something. For USB charging. Yeah, so for USB charging, it'll tell you right on the pack. you got five hours of charging on this USB. I don't even know if you can see it. He's going to connect to it right now. Well, we should pull it up on the back. Yeah. Let's... Okay. All right. We're back. So you guys, here you go. This is the smart tech screen that's come up right now. Basically up here, we have the actual battery and it's telling us that it's Bluetooth capable. The battery is probably getting very low. USB, it's unlocked. So let's go ahead and click on that, Eric. Then we're gonna see a picture of our battery. Now, the cool thing is, is it tells us exactly the gauge up here. Now, I say that's cool. Personally, I'd rather it be on the tool, yes. just to do a quick yep. look. I don't need to connect to my phone to do all this. But you know, it's geeky, grandpas are gonna like it. This is gonna make a great gift. Grandpas are very much into the smartphone thing. If you click locate, you guys, basically what locate is gonna do, it's gonna beep and flash. So, I don't know if you can see it flashing. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's flashing, but it's also beeping. Which is pretty cool. That's actually one up on the DeWalt because the DeWalt doesn't beep. Go ahead and hit lock. Lock. The tool is not working now. He's going to unlock it. Unlock it. So, you know, I don't know why you'd want to lock or unlock a tool. I really just don't. I mean, I don't know. You know, I, don't know. I mean, I don't I, maybe know. we're just thinking not drill. We should be thinking some other things. You know, maybe we want to lock, say, a head trimmer so the kids don't get it. Or I'll just a, go put the battery up high. Yeah, I'm yeah. just telling you. Okay. This is telling us that we have five hours and 52 minutes via USB, you guys. The USB port is right on the top here, so it's pretty well protected against dust and stuff like that. Would like to see a rubber cover on it, probably. Mm -hmm. Then that's just another thing that's gonna get jammed up in there and have problems. So you can label it with a pen. So you can say, this is battery A, that's battery B. And uh, you guys, we had zero problems syncing this up. It was just- Oh, it was a piece of cake, it was yeah. easy. And uh, you know, a lot of the stuff in its infancy usually has problems connecting, but basically we just held the button, it went into Bluetooth, the iPad, the app saw it, connected and went. So, um, good stuff. As far as power, you know, it's gonna get your lo your most homeowner jobs done. Oh my God, is it windy? So, you, as you can see, you know, is it, you know, the Titan of drills? No, but it's a great homeowner drill. And you know what? I definitely recommend Black & Decker. What do you think? At the time of this video, you guys, Black & Decker is not a sponsor of us. Like DeWalt is, which is kind of Stanley Black and Decker, but we don't have to say good things about this, but I really like them. I think for the homeowner, they're great. I don't know the price point on them, but 
usually they're pretty inexpensive. Yeah, they're usually but like $99, something like that. I mean, again. It's great, because for a homeowner, you're not going to be doing concrete, you're not going to be doing other stuff like that. It's great, you're hanging pictures, maybe putting something together, you get a new TV cabinet or something like that, or just whatever the case is. It's what nice don't to have you like? Around. About them? Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know, it's a good they question. They have plastic chucks, but we really that can't I complain can't because complain it's, you know. I complain about that. It's a homeowner, so I don't light. expect it to the be. The only thing I think that I don't like is like light. That I don't like because the light came on. Like is just, I want to see a battery fuel status yeah, gauge okay, on the outside. Right. Yeah. I need to see that. Okay. I'm sorry. Good point. Um, but, you yeah, know, so definitely either change. way you guys go, if you go with this, you're going to get a little more speed opportunity with it. And this has the lower speed. Here, run this one at the lower speed. But once you pick these up and put them in your hands, you guys, they're going to be really uh, comfortable, ergonomic, depending on your hands. I mean, what do you think? I like them, Don't they feel yeah. comfortable to you? I mean, the, yeah, they do. the they're overall is in the right place. They're yeah. really ergonomic. But look, when you're going, this is the top speed you're going to get out of this unit. I would probably like to see a little more speed out of that, actually. I don't know. I mean, it's good for the home. I mean... I like this show, I just, I, I, I'm kind of lacking a place for it. Well, a homeowner is where I think the place is, you know? Yeah, but is the homeowner really going to want to mess yeah, around with a, an you ant? you gotta remember, mess around with what? Mess around with an ant. I don't know, it might just be one of those, you know, added benefits or bonus to it. I think there's a lot of homeowners out there. Yes, you got your hardcore weekend warriors that might not, you know, levitate, or gravitate towards this, but then you got a lot of those homeowners that maybe use, like, once a month, once a quarter, or something like this. It's not going to break the bank. It's sitting on the shelf, but when you need it, it's there. Lithium battery lasts a long time, holds its charge. I think those are the type of people that would probably benefit from it. Yeah. You know? No. Wow, Eric. So. That's really professional, man. High five. Good stuff, you guys. Tools in action. Check it out. Um, it was weird. I was at Home Depot the other day, and these old folks were like looking stuff up, like trying to compare on apps. And the grandma's like, she's like, she's like, it says auto update, you know. And I'm thinking, oh my god, could you imagine that? I don't know what's auto update. She was trying to use her phone to like do something with the shopping she was doing, uh -huh. and her phone came up and said auto update. So she was like perplexed at the how. What did she do with auto update? Oh, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I'm yes, gonna say yes. that, that saying that is, you know, technology can be a hinder sometimes, mm -hmm. especially when you well, want to I mean, be simple. Well, the good thing about it is you don't have to pair this up with your you know device or whatever you can just use it like a normal drill so. right without a battery fuel status gauge yeah exactly so next you guys check it out don't forget to click below click all the links support our sponsors you guys go to toolsnaction.com on the right side you'll see it banner ads everywhere click on it and go explore the many Sponsors yep. of Tools in Action and uh, the good stuff that they and do. And guys, leave your comments down below. We love hearing always what you guys have to say. And don't forget to check out the Power Tool Forum also. Hashtag TA Crew, what's your favorite homeowner, Joe? Put it below. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.